Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friend. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Working on a nice little lizard. Still have a little bit of uh, things to do on it, but I'll get there. Um, today, I'm going to do a really quick, a couple of quick demos. One right after the other, and then turn around and uh, put them up on YouTube. Probably one today and one tomorrow. I realize that sometimes I do either feast or famine. Either you got everybody all at once, or you don't. I mean, you got a few of them all at once, so you don't have any at all. And I'm sorry for that, but I work in spurts, I guess you could say. <laughs> now, today. I'm going to be doing some coil potting, but this is going to be sort of like a little bit different, but still it'll have the same effect basically. That's what you're looking for, right? First of all, I will come up with some colors that I want to use for the coil pot. Um, and I call it coil pot, and it's just basically I'll coil uh, some colors on, a, or on, this, on this tubing. Now, I could do it to the end and, and add an extending, you know, as I've done before. Uh, but this time, I want to just try something simple. Yeah, right. Kids, keep it simple, right? And the, is it going to light for me? Oh, it is going to light for me. Yay! I've got both the 5 liter per minute and the 10 liter per minute concentrators running at the moment okay it's not as important to have a lot going on for you but it wouldn't hurry okay let me get a couple of colors going on here oh we got some red we got some here's some encased red I'll use that instead I've got some red here I've got some green, I got some blue. Let me get another like a turbo cobalt. Oh that'll look that'll do instead. Okay, we're gonna use four colors that you see here. One, two, three, four. And in the past, well actually no, I'm gonna do it this way again. I'm sorry. Just the way I make things up. Now the way I do my coil pot is I do sort of like a touch and pull, fold over, a gentle one, but it sort of makes sure the seals are pretty good, and it coils it, clays, it's sort of like a coil pot, and less round and more flat to begin with. Okay, I'm going to heat it. This is also green, jade green encased. You know, one of my um, eye milli demos, I tried to put eyes on a frog thing here, but that's another story in another place, right? Right. Look that one up. <laughs> eye milli. Okay. Again, I sort of touch and pull, touch and pull, make sure it's sealing together as I go. Okay, that was blue. That one was green. Actually, that's more of a green, or a blue exotic, or moon blue, I guess you would have to say. Now we're going to do a brighter color. Okay. We're going to do this twice, each color twice. You can continue doing as many times as you want. But again, this is for demonstration purposes so that you get the idea without having to see me do it over and over and over to, just to get the idea of what's going on. Then this is, I can't remember the name of the color, but I will tell you later. <laughs> but it's almost an adventurine. I 
I've got this these colors as you can see the short strips of it it was basically last year June not this year June but last year June I got a a um, five pound mix of assorted from from uh, uh, North Star and it came in short ends basically which was fun to play with it even had some Illuminati glass in it which was pretty cool gave me a chance to play with that too and you've seen the seahorse and a few other things that I have done with the Illuminati okay we just did the blue here we are again with the jade green You can see I sort of got a little bit bigger on the on the um, the girth of the uh, the tubing, but that's okay. It'll all work out in the end. The jade green, now the bright. There it is. With didymiums on, both the the lava red and the orange colors look very 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 similar so you gotta watch that I guess because the way the light cancels out on them so I'm just saying this is a brighter orange or reddish color okay now I'm gonna do one more of the last color I can't think of it right now Dang it, what is wrong with me that I can't Anyway. There we go. It's almost like an aquamarine. Now, that I'm gonna seal it up. Actually, I'm gonna put clear on the end. Just because I can. Ah, here we go. There's always something around. Okay. Hold, but that's okay. You'll see why. I usually heat up the whole thing now and go back and sort of do an accordion thing where I sort of pull in slightly and pull out slightly. And the accordion thingy tends to seal any major holes, which it did. Again, all I'm doing is sort of not really pulling far and wide, but just back and forth. That's all it takes. That seals it up quite nicely. Okay. Now I'm going to reverse this. Not reverse it, but the lines now are going vertically. Now we're going to go horizontal with the lines by blowing a hole in the middle. Right about there. Close enough. Now I seal it off there. Open the hole just slightly, but the height. There we go. Now blow a hole here. Really does help to um, to have a swivel, blow hose and swivel. You'll find that you could do even if you're working with soft glass you can find that you can make miniature bottles and stuff like that it's really really fun that's one of the first things well not one of the first things 
but I like to try to make little bottles and things like that with soft glass and vases, little tiny vases was one of the first things I, lots of little crazy things like that, but a blow hose would have made it a whole lot simpler, I didn't know about a blow hose until a lot later. I'm going to leave the clear on both sides of the end here because I can. And it gives you a reference point, basically. Let that sort of flow in. Okay. Now you got. Here's where the fun comes in. I'm going to twist it this way a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit too. Make it into more of a tubular shape, not a round ball. And you learn how to do that. It makes it a whole lot easier in the long run. I'm not really sucking in and they're not really blowing out, but I'm relieving the pressure a little bit as I do this oops I forgot I wanted to twist one way and then turn around and twist the other way like so okay now I'm going to twist back the other way now sometimes to get more finite and definite lines and shapes, you might want to use a single flame to do the twisting. Because if you've got more flame, uh, more glass melting, it's hard to do some complex twisting going on. Okay. I'm going to pull a little bit, and now I'm going to twist back the other way. Again, twisted back and forth. That gives you that wig wag sort of pattern going on. Something to play with, an idea, and you can get better as you go along. Okay? Now, I'm going to reverse it one more time. You get a nice round bubble again. can already see the swirl patterns going on back and forth in that stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. I didn't think that you, I forgot that I didn't put the, uh, the shield up. Let's do that for just a little bit. You don't have to keep it up. But you should be able to see some of the the glow patterns in the glass. All of that swirling going on is from different colors as I've stretched it, twisted it, now blowing it in another direction. Now we're going to blow a hole right about there. Oh, there it was. A little off, but sometimes when you've got not a single flame, you can't. Blow that off. Pull those together. Tap it. 
we're going to stretch and round it in one more direction. And I'll make a little, well, I said I, I like making bubble bottles. I'm going to make a little bottle out of this. So like a genie bottle, different. Are you kidding me? Well, there's, there is a hole. Let me see if I can. When I put them together, I did not flare it out. And because I did not flare it out, it almost sealed and constricted. But there is a hole, and I'm going to make it work. It's going to take a little bit. Maybe even stretch it out. Right there. Maybe that's why I ended up top. Up a little out. sealed itself, but there's a way around that. Let me get it a little bit stretched out. And there must be a hole in it, or it would really be doing some funky stuff right now. Which is good. Now the idea is if something like that happens, is you've got to basically blow it out. There's two ways of doing that, of course. Keep widening the hole, and eventually the thinness of the glass collapses in on itself. And there it went. And it becomes a tube again. There had to be a tiny, tiny hole in there somewhere. Or it would have really done some weird stuff. Okay, back to a bigger flame, and I'm going to make it into a tube, and then into a bottle. I might make a couple of bottles out of that, I don't know. I like making smaller things, if you haven't noticed. It's just the way I am, and I love. It's the economist in me, knowing that you can make something small, use less glass, learn how to make it, and then, you know, just scale up. That way you're not wasting as much. Okay. Okay. Now. Let that collapse down a little bit. Now sometimes you know I encase or, or layer clear glass over what I've done. But this time I just did it with color the way it was. And some of it was already encased to begin with, so that was a plus, I guess you could say. Now here we go, we're going to do a nice sort of round bottom to this bottle. And I'm even thinking about making it a stoppered bottle. And you say, how do I do a stoppered bottle? I'll show you. Okay. First, let's put a nice flat. Well, I might have to do this on another washing. When the bottle 
than this copper bottle. Okay, people, see this? Ooh, I still got it, yes. Um, I am going to have the giveaway for to celebrate 300 subscribers. Right now it's at 310, wow. It was like five minutes ago, it was 300. I mean, holy cow. Um, and that's to deal with just a giveaway. I've got this, and I've also got some diacrylic glass, and it's not going to be all of this. It's going to be about a quarter of a pound of diacrylic glass. And I'll give you a good variety of scrap, uh, different colors that I have available. Um, and it's stuff I got, and you're talking 20 years ago. It's uh, borosilicate compatible, okay? I'm going to do a cold weld right there. And then, and then, and then, make the top of this thing. a little bit of stuff off. Flatten the lip a little bit. Actually, I'm going to add solid color to the lip. Let's see. Uh, the green looks good. Let's give it a solid green lip. Even it out, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Good enough. Flatten it down a little more. This is very rustic. It's very rough. A, I'm still trying to uh, work within the means here. B, can still give you a viable product. I'd like to see about a half a dozen of these somewhere down the line where people have bought them and got them for a good deal because most of the stuff I'm doing is is the sell. I, when I sell it, I sell it at a very very reasonable price. Of course, I I want the the uh, the female version of it, uh, the male version of this, and I got the female version. That's the way life is. Okay. This is a number ten, and you can uh, I'll I'll uh, reference it on my below on the URL where I made a number ten. Uh, This isn't going to be a complete or full one, but it's going to be enough to make a stopper out of it. Doesn't have to be the big wise. Actually, why not? Round it off. When you hear the squeaking noise, that tells you you're in the right range, and it's also that it's. Um, let's see. I've got one of the joints that I've already done. Let's see if it. No. Nope, it's got a lot going on here. Let's see if we can't stretch it out a little bit more. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry that I... I do shortcuts from time to time. I wouldn't call them shortcuts, but... I'm expanding or stretching out the glass. It sort of got really bulged up there, so I'm pressing, pinching, and pulling it out a little bit more. Okay. Now I can spin it, make it more round. And that's where this can come in, too. Let me show you. Now let me make the top even. Let's see if that did it.
The idea is to make sure it snugs into the piece. Okay. Uh oh. Just my luck. Here we go. No wonder. I wonder why my eyes were drying out. I had my other uh, prescription lenses underneath it. Like, ah! Anyway, I'm going to have to get me a more prescription lens titanium so I haven't done that in a while. It'll make the difference in some respects. Okay. Let's do this the way I've been doing it before. I'm uh spin and flare. Of course. You know me, I do it. If I make a mistake, you're seeing it. The cold weld is sort of coming off the bottom. But I wanted it to come off and not really stress out the glass. So it's a double-edged sword there. There we go. I think I got what I was looking for, finally. Yeah, and tossing it around, that's a good idea, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and have the confidence that this is going to work. Oh, yeah, there we go. Snugged in quite well. holding its own, and now just, and of course it's not going to come out too easy either, but it's, there it goes, and you got one bottle, I will do a stopper to that bottle in the next episode, okay, thank you for watching, this is getting long, enjoy your day.